the main two factors which affect the periodic trends the first factor which is very important is known as the atomic radii now what is atomic radii you should understand so here see i am drawing an atom this is the nucleus this is supposing one shell this is another shell so this is called the nucleus that is the center of an atom this is the nucleus you know that and this is if you say it is the k shell or the first shell this is the k l shell or the second shell this is actually the structure of an atom now we are talking about atomic radii atomic radii means as in a circle we understand what is the radius here also is the same thing only difference is that atomic radii from the center of the atom to the last shell of an atom to the last shell of an atom that means in a circle there is a fixed radius you understand but atom if you visualize these this can be many circles drawn one inside the other so if i take the circle to be having two radius or two shells then the radius will end in the last shell if the atom has supposing one two three three shells that is k l m n then from the center to the l m n to the n shell this will be called the radius radius of an atom so this is one important factor which will help you in distinguishing the other periodic properties which i will be doing today now this supposing this is my atom this is one atom of hydrogen this is another atom of hydrogen so this from one center to the other this length this is one hydrogen atom this is one hydrogen atom if i draw this one a center of the nucleus to the other center this is called the bond length you will find that often we will be going to mention the word bond length that is what is the bond length so this is the distance between the center of two nucleuses of a same element is known as a bond length now we will go to the periodic table how this is affecting we are supposed to learn about the effect of uh, the property how it is uh, varying in period and groups the second important factor is the nuclear charge now nuclear charge as you know is very easy nuclear charge means actually the atomic number of the element 